What is happening, beautiful people? Sasa de Kalam Masa Teslam. If you're watching for the very first time, welcome. My name is Um, and today is Friday. Friday, and what do I say every single Friday, guys? That's right. End the day strong. People are already asleep. I'll tell you why they're already asleep. Because it's two o'clock right now where I am. I already had my lunch, took it, ate it, back to work, because I'm gonna end the day strong so I don't have to worry about shit tomorrow. You know what I mean? Hopefully you guys will do the same thing. I'm working away, not much is going on. It's it's kind of wettish outside today. It's not that great of weather. Um, looking forward to um, the evening just to chillax because tomorrow's gonna be hectic. I gotta get some stuff done in the studio for sure. Been going back and forth with Brian from Annex Pro. Um, those of you guys that saw yesterday's vlog, if you haven't, tisk tisk. Uh, went to Annex Pro for a uh, Pro Tools Summit. Uh, they're showing Pro Tools 2018, which is a software they use in the studio. And um, I've known Brian for a while, for years, and I was just trying to get some pricing for some stuff that I need. Hopefully he can help me out. Been going back with him, uh, back and forth with him today via email. And uh, picked up um, an Artist Mix Fader Pack, which I'll show you guys when I get here. Really cool, I really needed it, I was dying for one. Found a really good smoking deal from back east. Fired off the transfer and he's gonna ship it over to me. So things in the studio is going smooth, slowly but smooth, which is good. You've heard me say this before in previous vlogs, you're gonna see a change, a drastic change in the next few months and the whole studio bit and I'm gonna document it and get that on the, I got another YouTube channel guys. It's my channel where I teach people how to mix and stuff like this, technical stuff when it comes to music. I haven't put a video up there in like seven months I think. So I really gotta get going on that. That's why I'm doing all this content for, um, you know, I'm changing the studio for that so I can create some content for it. Anyways, yeah, man, so I'm gonna get back downstairs, work away for a bit. Uh, I'm gonna pick the girls up a bit later because uh, the older one, she's at uh, the mountain with the school. So she's coming an hour later, so it gives me a little bit of time to get some extra work in. What up, guys? It's like 8.30, and what I'm doing right now is trying to restore my uh, Mac to my new hard drive which is gonna run High Sierra. Right now I've got it on a smaller SSD drive, which is connected to my USB cable here. I've got it, got it all working. I just downloaded a trial version of Acronis, which is a backup software, because for some reason I couldn't get Time Machine working. I don't know why, I just couldn't figure it out. And I'm gonna use that to basically get that um, backed up, which I did already, to another drive that I have and then I'm gonna restore it to this guy and I just gotta figure out how I'm gonna do that. So I have to create a bootable um, uh, Acronis backup uh, USB stick and then from there, I'll reboot the computer, get it going, and then I'll start the restore. So hopefully this will work, man. It's been, it's been taking quite a bit of time and um, you know, once I get it right, I'm, I'm good to go. So as you can see, I'm in the process of creating uh, my rescue media. So that's gonna take some time. What I'm gonna do then is I've got my hard drive already mounted to my jig. This is gonna go into my Mac. So what I'm gonna do is once this is done, I'll turn this off, unplug everything, pull this guy out, put this in, and then boot everything up with this in the USB slot you know, fire it up and then hopefully I can restore, um, you know, the backup to that drive, unplug everything and I should be good to go. Now the question is, because I've got uh, Maverick still running, I don't know which one it's gonna boot off. I'm hoping and assuming that's gonna boot off the new one, but I don't know, I may have to switch the order of the drives. I'll figure it out once I pull everything out and then I'll see you know, if swapping the drives in the different order will make a difference. I don't know, otherwise I'm gonna have to all the time boot up, hold down option key, and then select the hard drive I wanna boot off, which is fine, it's no big deal. I mean, I gotta get a couple of mixes out um, from Pro Tools 10 uh, for now, but what I'm, gonna go, what I'm gonna do, there's a fix where I can install that old version of Pro Tools on the new High Sierra. It's gonna have some issues and stuff like that, but as long as I can kinda, you know, wing it, We'll see, but uh, most probably I'm gonna end up just um, just keeping that drive so I can boot off of um, you know so I have an old system that I that, that I know that works everything is working and that's probably what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna you know slowly cut over to High Sierra because I'm gonna get Pro Tools 2018. I don't have to worry about that. I'll probably still keep the drive because you never know, right? Just in case I can always boot off of it 
and then get into my box. So we'll see how it goes. So fam, as you can see, I've got the drive in. It's just easy as pulling these guys out, sliding them back in. Now I'm gonna get this guy together. That's the nice thing about these boxes, there's no screws or anything except for when you put in the line cards or the PCIe cards. These these Macs, also known as the cheese grater, and I'll show you why, because from the front it looks like a cheese grater. Um, they have these levers that lock stuff in place like that. These are really nicely built. I mean, for 2010, I mean, for the amount of money I paid for it as well. And they're amazing. That's why I wanted to keep it because, you know, I spent so much money on it and they're still good boxes. I'm gonna basically run this to the ground and max it out as much as I can before I need to, before I decide to go with something else. But uh, hard drive's in. Now it's a matter of putting it back together again, connect it, and then I'm gonna see if the restore actually works. Alrighty fam, moment of truth. Turning it on, holding down the option key, as you can see. I'm gonna see if this thing works, shall we? So you guys have it. That is right there, the recovery uh, media. Recover media right there. So I'm gonna boot off this guy. Let's see what happens. Looks like it's going and it should go into something. I have no idea. It should boot up to kind of like a GUI where I can restore, um, you know, my uh, hard drive and stuff. So hopefully things work out. I do, oh, I gotta plug in the other drive too. I just realized I didn't plug in the drive where the backups are on. So I'm hoping the system's smart enough that it'll pick it up. Uh, once it boots into the uh, the Acronis software, and then it should be just a matter of restore, cross the fingers, reboot, and I'm done. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to get it all ready, and then I'm going to back it up again. That way I have two backups, one for my other drive, and I'll show you guys where it is if I can find it here somewhere. Well, I actually put it back into the um, thing right here, this guy here. So this guy is basically... Uh, a small SSD drive that I picked up for like five bucks. There's only 64 gigs on this. And this is great for, you know, just putting an operating system on and getting started. This was what I was testing High Sierra with the new Logic, all new plugins, all 64 bit stuff. And this is what I actually backed up in, onto another hard drive, portable hard drive. And that's what I'm gonna restore to my brand new crucial 500, uh, you know, gig ssd drive so things should work out oh there we go and that's what i was looking for right there that's the one i need recover from a cronus true image backup so let's do this should work things are looking good so far so there she is getting ready to restore it's going to take probably a good hour so i'm gonna let this go and hopefully it'll be done today i'm actually gonna go upstairs and kind of warm my job let this thing go for a while. I have no idea how this is going to work, even if it's going to work. Hopefully it does. And I've actually restored it to the right drive. We'll find out in about an hour. Fam, what an absolute nightmare. It's almost midnight and I still haven't sorted this out. Uh, now I'm using actually Time Machine backup um, because the Acronis backup just didn't work for me, which really sucks. Um, I don't know. I have no idea where I'm at right now. I lost some information on my boot drive, on my old drive. That was my fault because I wasn't paying attention. So basically my Pro Tools 10 setup is done. It's finished, it's gone. I have no choice now to upgrade to Pro Tools 2018. I, I really screwed up, man. I wasn't paying attention. I should have done another backup. I didn't lose much to be honest. Getting back to Pro Tools is not a big deal. Um, you know, putting some plugins here and there is not a big deal, but I did lose a session that I started mixing, which is okay because I still have the raw files. Um, so I can just do that tomorrow, but it sucks. I was like 90% done. You know what I mean? Yeah, man, it sucks. So I'm backing this guy up now. It's going to take about 15, 20 minutes. I'm going to reboot and then try to do a restore onto a different drive and see if this works. I'm going to be up all night, man, trying to get this done. Honestly, what a joke. Fam, what is up? It is almost one o'clock in the morning and I think I finally got it. I'm actually going to do my restore. Um, it was such a headache because it's a 500 um, gigabyte drive. I actually had to partition it, piece it out uh, based on that small drive. So what I've done is I've basically created a 64 gig partition just for what I call bootstrap, just so the thing boots, the computer boots. And then I created some more partitions for like apps and for projects. So this should work now. My biggest problem was when I 
did the restore on the disc. Well, first of all, I blew the wrong disc, which was stupid of me. Then I, you know, restored it to the brand new hard drive. It only would see 64 gig. When I tried to partition it, it would crap out. I didn't know that. Now it's all done. It's not the way I wanted it. But at this point, I don't care. It's gonna take about half an hour to get this done. I need to make sure this thing boots up. I'm not concerned about Pro Tools. If I get a chance to do it tonight, I am gonna try to load it today and see if I can get this out. Um, Cause there's some minor change you gotta do for the video shoot tomorrow. And I don't wanna do that in the morning cause it's really, you know, I'm crunching for time. But you know, it is what it is. I think things are gonna be okay. I'm gonna leave it as is. It's getting late, I'm getting tired. And I'll keep you guys updated on what's going on tomorrow. But I wanted to say if you're watching the vlog, very first time, you know, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Please subscribe to the family if you want to see more vlogs just like this. Please click on the sky. Of course, to my peeps, be you. Stay optimistic. Enjoy the rest of your night. It's a big high five for me. 12.